And I made the sign over the door. Bryden Ball is established. 1986. Norman Bryden Bow is understandably upset as he looks at the home he shared with his wife for 22 years. He lost the home to foreclosure in a scam that started with a phone call. They told her she wanted two and a half million dollar sweepstakes. But first, the scammer told him to send $2,000 to pay for taxes on the winnings. After he agreed, they started asking questions. They get information from you, and then they take that information and turn it around and use it against you. Like the fact that his wife, Lucinda, was in a nursing home dying of cancer. Well, if, uh, if I just sent them this money, then I would get their sweepstakes and I would have money then to bring her home. Desperate to make that happen, Norman refinanced his house and continued to send payments as the crooks strung him along. In the end, he not only lost his wife to cancer, he was also out $400,000 and his home. It's really uh, sad and disgusting that you know someone is, is taking that much from, from someone who's worked so hard. U.S. Postal inspectors are working Norman's case, but the crooks are not easy to track down, and they often run their scams from outside the U.S. Well, the easiest uh, red flag to recognize in a lottery or sweepstakes scam is if you have to send money to claim your winnings, it's a fraud. Uh, there's no legitimate sweepstakes or lottery that actually asks you to send money to pay for your taxes. Norman realizes he made a serious mistake, but he's hoping that talking about it publicly will prevent someone else from becoming a victim. Uh, if, if my telling my story keeps somebody else from getting in this kind of trouble, then that's all I need.